Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we are going to learn about the empirical formula. So, as the definition, the empirical formula of a compound express a ratio between the numbers of atoms of different elements present in a molecule of the compound. So, the keyword of the definition uh, can be found in this word. So, this word is so important. So, this is the ratio. So, as we know that um, in a formula of, uh, in the uh, chemical formula, as we know that we have H2O and then C, uh, C6, H12O6, and etc. And in every atoms of the compound, yeah, is indicated with a specific number. So in this case, the carbon of this compound is six atoms, and then the hydrogen is twelve, and then the oxygen is six. Yeah. So the uh, number of the compound has meaning yeah so and and in this video we are going to learn uh, about the meaning of the number because there are two kinds of formula yeah we have uh, empirical uh, formula and then also we have uh, molecular uh, molecular uh, formula okay yeah, so we are going to uh, learn this first because by uh, knowing the definition of the empirical formula, we are able to learn and understand the concept of molecular uh, formula. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to focus on uh, empirical formula. Empirical uh, formula. Okay. Um, we can directly go to the example, so we can uh, easily understand about this concept. Uh, consider the compound named chloroform. Yeah. So the chlor chloroform is kind of. Uh, something yeah something uh, that we can find in chemical stuff yeah so chloroform has a certain molecular formula okay consider we have something called chloroform yeah chloroform and we don't know uh, what the formula of uh, what the chemical formula of the chloroform yeah and what we know is just the percent of composition of chloroform that contains 10.06% of uh, carbon yeah and then also 0 0.85 of hydrogen and then we have 89.09 89.09% of uh, chlorine chlorine yeah so <coughs> chlorine so this is carbon hydrogen and the chlorine okay and now uh, from this information you know, from the percentage composition of this uh, information we are going to find the empirical uh, formula okay now let's assume yeah let's assume that we have uh 100 gram yeah we have 100 gram of uh chloroform yeah so uh because we already know the percentage of pressure of the uh, the percent the percentage of, uh, of compound of the chloroform 
yeah, using this uh, formula. So we can uh, directly know the mass of every uh, element, yeah. Okay, for the carbon, we have uh, 10.06% uh, yeah, of, of uh, 100 gram of uh, chloroform. Yeah, so we have uh, ten point zero six gram, yeah, of of carbon inside the chloroform, yeah. Okay, and now for the uh, hydrogen, yeah, we have uh, zero point eighty five gram, and then for the chlorine, we have eighty nine zero nine uh, gram okay and because we are going to make the for the chemical formula uh, in this case empirical formula so we have to convert yeah we have to convert uh, convert from from mass yeah from from mass yeah from mass to uh, to mole, yeah. Okay. So now we have to calculate the mole of every uh, element in this uh, compound, yeah. The first one. Uh, okay. So the formula of finding mole is uh, this, yeah. So mole equals to mass of the element divided by the molar mass yeah okay now for the mole of uh, carbon yeah, so it must be mass of carbon divided by the molar uh, area yeah? because it is uh, because the carbon is only the element yeah not the compound so it can be mr or it can be uh, or ir area yeah? okay so ir of c yeah so the mass of carbon is this 10.09 divided by the atomic uh, the atomic mass of carbon yeah okay the atomic mass of carbon is 12 yeah is 12 okay is uh, 12 yeah so we got uh, zero point. Okay, so I will using twelve zero point one. Okay, yeah. okay. So actually, it's twelve. It can be twelve or twelve point zero one. It it it. Uh, it's just only the uh, the decimal, and because the decimal is so small, so I think it's okay. Okay, so the value is zero point eight zero point uh, eight three. Seven six uh, mole, yeah, <coughs> mole of C. Okay, and then we go to the next one. We have to find the mole of uh, hydrogen. So this is the hydrogen divided by uh, atomic mass of hydrogen. Okay, the mass of hydrogen is this zero point. 80, uh, 0 0.85 0 0.85 divided by uh, the atomic mass of hydrogen so the atomic mass of hydrogen is only one yeah so one okay oh, 1.008 okay 1.008 1.008 so the answer is 0 0.84 0 0.84 mole yeah of carbon and then for this is of uh, hydrogen and then the last one the mole of chlorine so mass of chlorine divided by uh, atomic mass of chlorine yeah we have this number for the mass of chlorine 
89.09 divided by the atomic mass of chlorine. Okay, the atomic mass of chlorine. Where is chlorine? Okay, so this is the atomic mass of chlorine. 35.453. Okay. Uh, 35.45. Okay. 35.45. And the answer is 2.513 mole of uh, chlorine. Okay. So we already get uh, the mole of every uh, atom inside the chloroform. We have this number, this number, and this number. And we have to divide all this number by the smallest uh, value. Okay, so one, two, three, the smallest value is this 0 0.8376. Yeah, okay, so we are going to make the ratio. Okay, okay, so we have to, okay, making the ratio. Okay. Now for the uh, ratio of C, uh, we have uh, this number, okay, mole of uh, mole of C divided by the smallest uh, smallest. Mole, yeah. Okay, so we have a uh, mole of carbon is this zero point eight three seven six, and then the smallest number is okay. This divided by uh, zero point eight three seven six zero point eight three seven six zero point eight three seven six yeah okay so zero point eight three seven six and we have one okay and then for the uh, ratio of hydrogen we have mole of hydrogen divided by the smallest uh, value yeah we have 0 0.84 divided by 0 okay. and the, the, the value is uh, wait a minute yeah so it is like a 0 0.008 or something yeah so we can also uh, make a uh, uh, we have uh, we can uh change this number to the close uh to the approximation because 0 0.008 is so small so we can assume that this number is also one yeah and then for the last one we have a ratio of uh chlorine yeah so this is the mole of chlorine divided by uh, smallest value yeah okay <clears throat> so the mole of chlorine is 2.513 divided by the smallest number yeah smallest value okay. and the answer is oh let's find okay so we have 2.5 okay, 2.5.3 divided by 0 0.8 0 0.8 okay 379 yeah so the value is 3. Point, uh, 3. Point zero, zero, yeah 3.002 yeah and we have we can also make it into uh, 3 yeah Okay, so we have C, H, and CL. Yeah, this is a comparison symbol. 
which the C is 1 and then for the H is also 1 and then for the chlorine is 3 yeah okay yeah so the empirical formula yeah uh, empirical formula of chloroform yeah is C H C L uh, one one three yeah and uh, actually for the number one we can we, we, we can uh, we can not to uh, write it so it's only this yeah yeah so we have uh, C H C L three and this is the empirical formula yeah, of the yeah, chloroform. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, for the explanation of empirical formula. Yeah, so it's all about the ratio. Yeah, so this is not the chemical uh, formula, but it's only the empirical formula of chloroform. Yeah, because after this, we are going to learn about the uh, molecular formula. And if we want to know more, if we want to know clearly, yeah, know clearly about the concept of molecular formula, we have to firstly uh, understand the concept of empirical formula. Okay, that's for this video. And if you have any question, you can just uh, type it on the comment section. And thanks for your uh, attention.